Hello everybody, welcome to Boxing Science. In this video, we're gonna be taking you through a strength and condition workout with WBA light middleweight champion of the world, Terry Harper. Today, we're gonna to be working on a range of different things, mainly working towards maximum strength. During this video, I'm gonna be highlighting some of the key exercises that we're gonna be using during this workout. We kick things off with our extended warm up, where we pair up plyometrics with punch specific exercises. Starting off with the main plyometric movement is a dumbbell accentuated box jump. Dumbbell accentuated jumps is where we use some heavy dumbbells, basically overload the eccentric portion of a jump. We release at the bottom and we really drive into that concentric action. And there's a lot of data that shows that you're improving elasticity of the lower body, increasing eccentric utilization. And we know from our testing, this is what boxers lack in. Uh, the difference between counter movement jump and squat jump is quite low. So to improve lower body force production and speed, we need to be able to control the force eccentrically to then drive out and perform fast and explosive movements. Dragging them shoulders down, you're keeping the chest up and then driving from the bottom. Right into your hips, dip down a little bit more. Great work, Terry. So the punch specific exercise today is a contrast med ball punch throws where we're combining heavy with light. So we're using five kilos and three kilos here. And this is to encourage acceleration during three kilos. So it's potentiating thing and a little bit neural trickery where we're pushing against a heavy med ball and then we're firing into that light of uh, med ball. And you can see with Terry, as the reps go on, you can see that she's really whipping and, and producing some high force, high speed into the lighter med balls. Yeah, that's it, good. You push against that heavy resistance and then quickly go into fast resistance so you should be able to accelerate through on that lighter one. Hips through, yeah, good. Drive it through on the five. When you're on three, remember, it's not a push, it's more of a whip. Get them hips all the way through. So the key exercise today, the key compound lift is a banded landmine squat to press. Now the reason why we're using the landmine squat to press is because last camp Terry really excelled through the Anderson squats and box squats in her maximum strength phase. She ate 120, 125 kilos on a box squat. So she's really working towards that top end range of her capabilities. In order for her to get some overload and some stimulus, we've got to change some of the exercises around. The reason why we're not going for a back squat is because she's quite strong in terms of on the box squat. So to be able to overload her and, and to be able to get that stimulus, we probably have to go quite heavy with the back squat. And that's something that I'm not willing, uh, wanting to do with Terry at the moment. Can create some shear forces through the spine, create some high eccentric stress to make it really sore. And without actually overloading that stimulus to be able to create some physical adaptations. So we're using the landmine squat to press and also we're getting a little bit more out of this because with the press, you're encouraging that force going from the foot all the way through to the fist. So we're increasing that kinetic chain sequencing that can transfer into punch specific action. Now we're using the banded landmine squat to press the reason why we're adding the band is because to reduce the, the load at the bottom of the lift, so Terry can sit in nice and comfortable at the bottom of the lift, but also increasing the tension as it go through the lift, so increasing that acceleration. Today we're using the gym aware to give uh, Terry some velocity feedback and comparing her to similar weight load that she performed last week without the band. It's gonna be harder for her to produce that speed and intent because it gets harder as you go up. So we're gonna get some great adaptations from this exercise today. Dip down and drive it up fast. Good, five reps. Oh, good, accelerate all the way through the movement. Nice, Terry. Want you to push up with your legs. Full hip extension, then slam it down. Nope. Seven, eight, come on. Up. Oh. Push knees out wide. Deep breath in. Good. Aggression. So key upper body pressing action is a landmine half kneeling press. This one is to develop the shoulders and upper body strength. What we're doing here is heavy and eccentric. So the reason why we're going heavier with her today because we've, we've, we've built her up, she's gonna struggle with that next jump, that next 2.5 kilos. So we're adding the eccentrics in there. Now, 
the main issue that she has driving through that sinking point, and that's what a lot of boxers struggle with because they're uh, weaker in the triceps, they find it hard to push through that sticking point. This actually limits the kind of amount of load that you can lift during upper body pressing, which will limit the amount of strength adaptations that you get from your upper body pressing exercises. So there's a few things that you, what you can do, you can use bands, you can use partial range lifts. Today with Terry, we're going for the eccentric. So she's getting three reps out really solid. And then I'm going to help her on the on the last two just push through that sticking point so she's still getting that concentric action but then overloading that eccentric so about four three to four seconds on the way down and this is really going to get her shoulders and triceps uh, a lot stronger you need to act like you're pulling it down to create that strong foundation to drive up from the faster you come down the harder that first phase is create that strong foundation be really aggressive from the start good oh one yeah, good. Pull it down. Three, two, one. Good. Let's go. Three reps. One, two, three. Drop the weight. Transition. Let's go. Wait. Scoop them hips in and under. We'll drive through your heel. Keep your stomach nice and tense. Good. All the way down, get their arms long. Yeah, good, come on. All right, two, jump into it, come on. Good, two, one, good. Yeah, come on, keep going. Towards the end of the workout, we're gonna be working on high tension core exercises, such as heavy pull-off press, where we're stepping into it and pushing out. And we're going for three second holds on this, and we're gonna go just for five reps. And then she's got the supine banded ab squeezes, with the kettlebell in a bottoms up position. Fantastic strength shown by Terry. The reason why we're going for really high tension on the core exercises is because we're going lighter on the landmine squat to press that we would do on an Anderson squat or a box squat. We're losing that kind of high tension isometric contraction of the trunk and core. So substitute this, we're going for some high tension core exercises. Normal core exercises where you're working for 8 to 12 repetitions, maybe 15 repetitions, so you go for more volume because the tension isn't there. We're going for 5 or 6 reps on each side of the high tension core exercises to create that maximum effort, that maximum isometric contraction, something that we're missing on, on our compound lifts. Yeah, so we're just creating a little bit of overload for obliques and rotational muscles in the core. Squat into it, little step to create more tension, punch it out, three, two, one, you know that normal pull off presses where you'd be able to hold it out 10, 20. This one is designed for you to only be able to tolerate that three second hold. Yes, well done, Terry. Keep your stomach tense, belly button off the uh, bench. Squeeze, 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 good. And try and get that shot off the floor. Good, yeah, without losing that balance. So that's the end of the video. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button. If you're not a subscriber to the Boxing Science YouTube channel yet, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future content. If you're interested in some of our training methods, check out the Boxing Science website. We've got a range of different programs that you can access a click of a button. And also we've got our Trail Life Champion membership where you can follow the blueprint to elite performance on a monthly basis. Okay guys, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully see you on the next video.